Hey, what's going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to take your dome motion detector from this to this using a device handler. So stay tuned. All right, guys, this is going to be really easy to do. There's only going to be a few steps. What we're going to do is first off, make sure that your motion sensor is not connected to your SmartThings hub. So make sure you remove that first. But what we're going to do is we are going to start on the PC, add the device handler, and then we're going to go through and finish up on the app. I'm going to have steps below for everything. So if you need help with any of that, you can also check below. The links are going to be there too for where you need to go for everything. So let's get started on the PC. All right, so first we're gonna start on the Smart Things forums here. This is a post that was done by Kevin. He is a community master. He has done um, a lot of great device handlers here. And so he posts everything up here. He does a fantastic job. That is primarily who I get most of my device handlers from. So here we see this is just um, him detailing out what the device handler is gonna be doing. If we scroll down here, we can see screenshots of everything. So we are going to go to the next link that I'm gonna have down in the description. This is gonna take us to Kevin's GitHub page. So one thing that I wanted to mention is that Kevin does all of this for free. He does not get paid by Dome or anybody to do these. And um, if we look down here, these are all the device handlers that he's written. So there's a lot of stuff that he's done. Great contributor to the community. Um, also just kind of want to point out here, if you're using these things and want to donate, Kevin does have a PayPal uh, link right here. So I will put that down in the description if you guys want to donate a couple bucks to him. Um, I mean, he's doing a great job, so why not uh, want to help promote him there and, and everything that he's doing. So uh, we are going to scroll down here and go to the dome motion sensor. And then from here, we are going to click on device handler. This is going to bring up the code that he has created here. Um, next, what we want to do is we want to load up the smart things website. All right, so we're going to go to the smart things website here. This is where we're going to log in to enter the device handler and the code. So you are going to log in. We are going to go ahead and click on my device handlers. All right, now that we're here at the device handlers up in the left corner here, we're going to click on create a new device handler and then click on from code. So now we're going to go back to the code that we see here. Uh, I'm going to click on raw, which is going to bring up just the raw code here. I'm just going to click anywhere in here. I'm going to hit control A to highlight all. And then I'm gonna hit control C to copy. That way I know I've got everything. I'm gonna go back to the device handler here. I'm just gonna right click in here and click paste. So that is going to paste everything that we need into the device handler. Click on create. We're gonna click on save, just make sure it's saved there. And then we're gonna click on publish and then say publish for me. Let's just save it one more time to be safe. And now when we go ahead and click on my device handlers up at the top, we see that we've got the dome motion sensor. So now that that is all set up, let's connect our motion sensor and see what that looks like. All right, so we have our motion sensor here. I've got the app loaded up. We're gonna go to my home down at the bottom. We are going to click on the plus sign to add a device. So now that it is looking for a device, we are going to open up the back of the motion sensor and there is a connect button in there. We're gonna hit it three times. I don't know if you noticed there, but the light flashed on the front of the device. So now we see it says dome motion light sensor. That's perfect. We're gonna click on save. Okay. And now that we see it here, so if I click on the dome motion sensor, it still looks like the default. So if we go up here and click on the gear in the top left corner, all of the information from the device handler has not applied yet. Uh, what we need to do is that we need to go back to the website. Okay, we're back here at the website. We are going to click on my devices. Up at the top here, we now see the dome motion sensor light. So we're gonna highlight that. At the bottom of the page, we're gonna click on edit. And then what we need to do is we need to change the type. So the type is going to be dome motion sensor because that's what the device handler was called. Something that was kind of confusing when I first started looking at this is I scrolled all the way to the top to the D's and it was not listed there. So 
After a lot of frustration of removing and adding and removing and adding, I finally realized you have to scroll all the way to the bottom because that is where your new device handlers are. So if we scroll all the way to the bottom, we see dome motion sensor. I am going to select that. I'm gonna click on update. And I clicked on update and we noticed immediately on the app it updated. So now if we look at the home page or if we look at the front page of the app, we've noticed that it's added that refresh button. We're gonna click on the gear up in the top right corner and here are all of our settings. So we can enable, disable the flashing red light, which is kind of annoying, so we remove that. But in here is where you can go and actually just tweak it to your heart's content. All right, so if you take a look at the motion sensor that we have here, it should be flashing red. So you see it's flashing red there. What I wanna do is I want to turn that off. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on disable the LED. We're gonna save it. So it's saved, but you notice that it is not turning off. If we go back into the settings here, we're gonna clip it, click at the gear scroll all the way to the bottom of the app, we notice that check-in intervals is every 12 hours, which means that it's gonna take 12 hours for our save changes to take effect. One thing to do to speed this up is that we can force a manual connect. What we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the device and then the button that we hit three times to add it, we are just gonna push down for one second and you're gonna see a flash. So 1001, let go, it flashed once. So once it does that and connects, then you notice that there is no more blinking light. I have noticed when testing this that sometimes it's instant where I do it, it connects and the light turns off right away. I have had it sometimes where I've pushed it, connected it and it's taken two to three minutes for it to actually get the updated code sent to it for it to turn off. So if you do hit the button to connect it and it does flash the once, but it doesn't seem like it's worked, give it a couple minutes and if it still isn't working, then maybe try it again. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. If so, give the video a thumbs up. For more content like this, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.